Helix Labs was founded really out of Stanford's Design for Extreme Affordability program, where I had the opportunity as a graduate engineering student to go to Dhaka, Bangladesh, of all places, and really get the day-to-day -day experience of shadowing a local team of five plastic and reconstructive surgeons who were working in really low resource, low practitioner density, over populated hospital systems, both public and private throughout the city. And I had the unique experience of getting to see day to day the overwhelming and, and often underappreciated crisis of chronic wounds in these hospitals where patient after patient was spending not days, not weeks, but months, if not years, in a hospital bed, in an overcrowded ward, waiting for their wounds to heal. And in the, in the course of, of shadowing with these doctors, um, one in particular, Dr. Shafquad, had in an ingenious manner, really makeshifted what I came to learn was a therapy called negative pressure wound therapy. We founded Helix on, on the premise that we as a team were, were motivated to advance wound care, not just globally, but particularly in, in low resource, low income settings. And our first product um, was a negative pressure wound therapy system built on this very premise. Could we take uh, what today is a very overpriced, over-engineered, um, over-complicated technology and build a simple wound care solution that could provide this gold standard therapy, but with a technology that better met the resources and environment where it was being utilized? You know, I've been incredibly lucky. I've been able to take advantage of such incredible resources around me. And I had the opportunity as a young team, a youthful team, an inexperienced team, whatever you want to call it, we had a lot to learn. And and the educational uh, guidance that Fogarty provides was invaluable for us, getting going, understanding what it really takes to to bring a medical device to market. But I'd actually hone in on, on two aspects in particular that I think really were a driving force behind what was so valuable for me and, and our team. And, and it starts with Fogarty and, and the name and the legacy. It, it gave us credibility. You know, we were no longer a project at a university. We were a full-fledged company that, that was going out and trying to solve something. And to have Fogarty's name behind us was so critical in, in so many different atmospheres and environments that we, we found ourselves in. And, and second, it's the Fogarty mentors, the staff, the people around here who have been so valuable to me, but also to, to my team, teaching us all how to be leaders, how to, how to really bring a company culture together in such an important way. I'm only beginning to recognize the impact it's had on me personally. As I grew as an engineer, as I grew as an entrepreneur, and as I grew as a leader was just, I couldn't have imagined a better place to have that, that safe and, and uh, caring mentorship throughout. One reality is Helix today wouldn't have gotten anywhere close to as far as it did, and it wouldn't be around today if it wasn't for the Fogarty Innovation Center. And, and at the end of the day, that's because it was a place that wasn't just an accelerator. It wasn't just an incubator of sorts. It was truly a environment focused solely on the medical device development process and the entrepreneur themselves.